with a list of the things that we need to do to this car. It uh, includes door bar, push the spare tire up, take the main power from the alternator to the battery so that way when I turn the alternator on it does charge. Uh, fans need to be wired in. I need an alternator belt. I still have a driver's side airbag. Um, seat belts on the front here for the hood. Um, threaded rod for the hood. Now I don't exactly know how I'm going to do this so I'm just going to hold off on that one for a bit. I need to put a ratchet strap around the gas tank. Uh, passenger door needs to be tied shut. I need to either swap out the shifter or modify this one just a bit. Uh, rad padding. I want to put a little bit of padding around the radiator. Uh, rear struts wire just so they don't fall out. Check all the fluids because I don't know how these fluids are because I haven't even checked. Uh, door padding needs to be tied back to the driver door and put chain down some of the motor mounts. So there is a lot left to do on this thing and there's really not that lot of time. So I don't know, I'm just going to basically just start notching stuff off the list. This is about all I think that there is left to do on this car. There's probably a little bit more that I'm not seeing right about now, but as of right now, this is all I'm seeing. Probably find little bits of doodads going through it. I think I need to do the rear brakes on this as well. Yes, this thing still needs rear brakes, so I should mark that down as well. I'm going to start just basically with the uh, rad padding. And what we're going to do is put a piece of foam across the front of the rad so that it cushions the rad from any big blows from other cars. And then uh, we'll just knock off some of the easy stuff first because easy stuff makes everything else better, I guess. Let's get going on it. on this thing pretty hard tonight. We've been really crunching these numbers. Um, we got the door in, we got the we haven't done the spare tire but I kind of need to set on the ground. We have the alternator power hooked up. We also put this really nice thick thick padding around the alternator and in front of the rad. Kind of got a little upset with the duct tape in front of it so I'm gonna actually go get more duct tape. Just gonna cover that up to try to soften the hood around the rad. I think I'm having some issues where the hood is actually starting to be the culprit that is breaking my rads. So, I'm just going to try a little bit of padding around that. I still have to remove the rad and cut the bottom nipples off. Um, so yeah, we have that padding on the alternator. Fans, we do not have hooked up yet, but realistically that's going to be quick. We have the toggle switch, we have the wires, we have the power. We have everything already ready to do that. I just haven't done it because it's easier to do on the ground. Belt. We have put an alternator belt in this. Uh, I wasn't able to go online and order the AC delete belt, so we just have an AC factory belt, I guess, on here. But uh, it's all hooked up now. It's tensioned. That's good. Airbag has been removed. That came out pretty easy. Uh, we did put some seat belts here in the front, so that's ready. Um, we have not done the threaded rod because they still have not really released their rules yet. Um, they're saying not a lot's going to change, but they're saying there is going to be tweaks from last year. And what my main concern is, is that they're saying the threaded rod cannot go to the frame. They're saying it can only go to the body. So, I like to put my threaded rod to the frame and have it come up through the rod support. But if they're not going to let me do it, I have to play by their rules. So, I'm trying to decide if I should hold off to see if their 2018 rules allow for the threaded rod to go to the frame is what I'm really hoping. So I'm going to hold off a little bit longer. This is still January and the Derby's not until May so you got February, March, April. You still got four months until this car is going to be ran. Uh, gas tank tied down. I got the gas tank tied down plus I have power to the gas tank now because I didn't have that before apparently. Um, passenger door. I have all the holes drilled to tie that door shut now so that will be going. Uh, shifter. I don't really know if we're going to run the aftermarket shifter. I really don't think that car is going to die in Gravenhurst. Um, Project Heartbeat, which you guys may not remember, but it will be coming back in the shop very shortly because that derby is about one month away now. So Project Heartbeat's got to get back in here, and that's the one that has my aftermarket shifter in it. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to switch that aftermarket to this or if that car dies in Gravenhurst. 
I'm not really sure, but I don't know. We'll leave that. Uh, rad padding. Got that done. Rear struts wired. I do wire my rear struts in because sometimes they like to rip out and then you lose a tire or you lose a whole strut. So that has been done. Fluids. I haven't checked the fluids yet. Door padding. I tied the door padding back to the door. And motor mounts. I have not done the motor mounts, but uh, it's basically the same thing. I didn't want to do it when it was up because the body being up here, it's going to be a little difficult. So I'll do the motor mounts now or tomorrow. And uh, one other thing that's on here that I didn't put down was I'm going to get rid of the rear brakes. So I actually have two uh, welded off caps. Now, if you guys don't know what welded off caps look like, see that? It's just a brake fitting, excuse me, that I've cut and I've made it so that I've welded the top of it solid so no hydraulic fluid escapes. So I'm going to use these to get rid of the rear brakes. I just have to cut the lines, put a little 10 mil down there, break the existing lines off and then thread those into there. Um, I'm actually pretty sure that this car is almost, if not ready, for the demolition derby. But like I said, it's four months away. So it will be leaving the shop here very shortly and it will be getting ready to go into basically hibernation where I take the computer out, I take the battery out, I leave the gas tank in because I do have a very large amount of derby gas tanks apparently. But uh, I figured I'd, I'd leave you guys with some nice revving action to just send Project Infected off to basically be finished. A nice big send off. Oh. A bit of a tight fit still. I just got my foot tangled in the positives of the gas line. So let's get the battery hooked up. Okay, so we do not use the key for this car, as you guys may remember. So, computer on, fuel on. Listen to that puppy. Start. Let's see if we can try to do a burnout. I'm going to hear from all my neighbors tomorrow. But uh, Project Infected is pretty much done. I just, like I said, little things left to do, but there's still four months before the Demolition Derby. So I'm pretty sure this is the last we're going to see of Project Infected for a little while. Um, probably the next time we'll see it, we'll do some threaded rod to the front of it, and we will decorate it with the mannequin on the roof. So thank you guys very much for watching. It's been a pleasure to build this car for you. Um, it's been a nice long build series, but uh, she's done. But what car are you guys more uh, excited, I'm going to say is the word, uh, to see run? Project Heartbeat, which is a 93 Toyota Camry that I put a 2000 motor into, still four cylinder. Are you interested in seeing this 2000 Toyota Solaire be derby with the hood header, which is project infected, or you do, or do you want to see Nukem go, which is a, another 99 Toyota Solaire, but it has a 94 Toyota motor in it. So which one are you most interested in seeing going? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm kind of more leaning towards Project Heartbeat. You guys may not remember it, but 
I bought that car almost two years ago, and the first thing it did when I bought it, I drove it off the trailer, I moved it about five feet, and the motor blew up. So, I think I'm going to be pretty happy to smash that car up. But, I don't know, which one's your favorite one? Let me know down in the comments, and thank you very much guys for watching, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.